Hey guys and welcome to another Dragon Village Collection video. In today's video we'll be taking a look at the one year anniversary developers notes. So it's already been one year since Dragon Village Collection um, began launching. Obviously Global took a bit longer to get. Um, but yeah, it's been a great year so far. And um, we're looking for a great future. So let's get into it. Uh, so PPD has a message, it's already been a year since I first greeted you with half anticipation and half fear. For some it may have just been a short year that passed by, but for me it was the longest and most valuable year of my life because I was with all of you who played Dragon Village Collection. Although I made many mistakes because it was full of new things, I was able to safely celebrate the first anniversary because there was all of you who loved this game until now. Today I would like to take a a look back at Dragon Village Collection over the past year with numbers and explain about the updates that will carry it out in the future. Very excited. This is so cute art. So in total, 35 mil 35.3 million dragon have been occurred. 24.5 from exploration, 9.7 from the shelter. That's a lot for shelter actually. The dragon most obtained from exploration is alien dragon. 11.9 million breedings. Total actions used 18 million. T total care is insane. 46 million quests clear. Triumphs 12. Grandmaster for 3,326 people. Currently I'm also on the way to Grandmaster. I am as of currently... And on 943 out of 1000, so I'm almost there. 81 billion cosmic crystals, that's insane. Most purchased eggs is Flora, which I'm completely not surprised by. I've bought my handful of Florias from the egg market as well. So trading uh, was actually pretty good. 10, 10 million times, 2.6 million times. Trades completed, which is less than 50% though. Average daily trade is almost 12,000. Okay, the first update I will introduce is Town. Town is a content that is different from the Garden Accessory Village, which is mainly for decoration and is content that is mainly for production facilities and continuous activities. Is a content to show new fun elements for Dragon Village Collection. There are various currencies that you can get if you play consistently. And you can use these currencies to gradually expand the town and build new buildings. Also as the town develops, the time required for the new evolution form special evolution is shortened. So you can expect time benefits. That actually sounds very, very good. So we have like little petals, petal cells for the special evolution. So the right being dark digs, the left being god. They look absolutely stunning. They really look good. So we're going in a bit more detail about special evolution. Uh, special evolution is a new form for adult dragons, so only adults. Uh, you can collect dragon essence or element essence through the platform that can be installed in a new village and those essences you use to special evolve your dragons when special evolution occurs the per personality and special form some special forms are not applied before evolution are maintained for example the wind dragon wind dragon excuse me that will be added this time also specially evolves while Maintaining the color by form. That's actually really good. That's really good. So we have here Black Armor, Dark Nyx, Frost Dragon, God Dragon, Hell Dragon, Lightning Dragon, Power Dragon, Seer, Wind Dragon. That looks good. And this is how they look actually in game. Oh, it looks really good. I actually really like Wind Dragon. Special Evolution is planned as an endgame content for Dragon Village Collection, which is actually pretty good. Um, it seems like a far off goal, but after progress of the town content to certain levels and installing multiple platforms, the resource needed for Special 
evolution are designed to be supplied in not so long cycles. So the more you have, the quicker it goes. Initially, a total of nine types of special evolution will be added for each element. And then nine types will be updated at the end of May. So that seems like this update is actually coming very soon. Then two types will be updated at the end of June. And then July and from July for a few months until the number of breeds that can be specially evolved is secured. The goal is to consistently update two types twice a month. A total of four types. So four special evolutions every month. If I'm So in the beginning, four types a month, and then after that, two types per month. The town special Special evolution update is scheduled for the next update on April 25. So as of recording, that is tomorrow. That's actually very, very soon. So about the goblin market. Um, has a recorded very high content usage rate and has received good response. Uh, we plan to change from the original event style operation to a permanent open policy, which is actually very good because... Putting a time on something like that, in my opinion, is not that um, nice because if it doesn't help FOMO. And FOMO means fear of missing out. However, in order to open permanently, we need uh, preliminary work such as the Goblin Trade Permit removal and added additional trade limit. And after reflecting improvements suggested by you, such as increasing the deadline time when bidding at the top, in the immediate, immediate closing state and expanding the number of tradable species, we plan to reopen. Until reopening, we are collecting as much feedback as possible. So if you have feedback about the goblin market, let them know so they can take that to the more permanent solution. Okay, so about changes after May, and we first go into the monthly act. If you attend 25 times a month, you will be able to get a monthly egg without payment. Okay. After the opening, we want to continue the policy of Dragon Village Collection. All species can be acquired for free, but there are forms that can only be cured by payment. Many people have expressed regret about the fact that they cannot get the first gen form a monthly egg. So we plan to change the policy so that if you consistently access the first generation monthly egg, you can get one. For this function, the attendance book will change after the May patch and the monthly egg will be placed in the last reward. So it looks like this, but this looks like a new dragon. Interesting. Not only this, but we plan to further increase the accessibility of the monthly egg for free-to-play teamers. Now, the monthly egg that has passed more than a year will also be available for purchase with special dragon drinks. Interesting. In the future, those who have secured a large amount of dragon drinks through games such as trading, uh, by playing the game consistently and diligently, will be able to purchase up to two eggs of the month that have passed a year. Of course, those who are already purchased should not be harmed. It will be much less efficient than buying with diamonds. But if you think of it as providing a choice other than payment to users who have secured a large amount of drink among those who have played for a considerable period of time, I would appreciate it. Um, so, second generation from the monthly drag, uh, dragon will also change. After adding the second generation form that appears when being the special forms in Montelec re received an opinion that the quality of the second generation form that is not special seems to be lowered. And we want to correct things. Interesting. The special second generation form was a part that we pr proceed to hope that even users who proceed without payment would feel a little bit of getting a special form. I personally really, really like this. But after adding this form, we agree with the opinion that the existing normal second generation form feels like it has removed the decoration. Which I can also understand as well. Therefore, in the future, in the case of normal second generation forms, we plan to try to make a form with a slightly different feeling or different char I have no clue how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Um, 
characteristics, I think. It will apply. It will be applied from the monthly egg in May, and we will continue to reflect. So that will already happen in the upcoming one, uh, which should enter the shop um, next week. In addition, the probability of the spe special second generation form appearing when breeding the same first generation form will also be adjusted upward. We plan to increase the possibility of meeting spe second generation specifically if it's planned to be adjusted upward from 40% to 64%. So 64% chance to get the special second generation look. Since the normal second generation can be obtained for sure when bringing the first generation of forms, it is a measure to reduce the unpleasant experience of you by correcting it to some extent. This measure will be applied from the update uh, on 25th of April. Daily content. We understand the complaints there's too much content to take care of every day after the recent additional addition of Temple Estella. To reduce this, we plan to greatly improve the convenience of already consumed content and so that rewards can be obtained quickly as possible, which is actually sounds really, really good. At the end of May, we plan to add a sweeping function that allows you to choose whatever to, to get egg fragments and three eggs with one button to touch from the underground body. Okay, that sounds interesting. If then after that, we are preparing a plan to be able to take measures so that you can receive rewards while spending a little time as possible. Even if you suffer a certain loss in content, such as Estella and Colosseum. Okay, so almost at the end. About festivals. Through the cases of Nessie and God Dragon, we learned that it's difficult for our tamers to apply a difficult probability to dragons that are already difficult to obtain, because in the period which they can be obtained, it's limited. Therefore, if we proceed with similar event and exploration in the future, we plan to raise the probability overwhelmingly instead of a short period. In case of uh, the eclipse, well, I did talk about that earlier. If you have watched my um, eclipse video, um, the appearance rate is set to 2500, which means that it comes about 43.2, uh, 43.8 times more than the 57 weight of the alien dragon, which appeared most in a year. The probability that a specific dragon appears in exploration area is the weight of the dragon slash the sum of the weights of all dragons in the area. Since the current exploration area has measures to prevent the three appearing dragons from overlapping, there will be no cases where all eclipse. Um, so we expect that those who want dragons other than eclipse in, in the existing exploration area will be able to enjoy the exploration without difficulty. So that means they won't uh, there won't be three eclipses at the same time. In addition to these improvements, we are also preparing a completely new type of event. A first anniversary event where you could get your own aura. And we are constantly preparing various updates in the future. Detailed information will be delivered through patch notes. Even in Ma May last year when we launched the game, the game that we wondered if we could continue was able to celebrate its first anniversary thanks to all of you. I would like to say thank you once again, although it may still be a game with shortcomings, we will continue to make efforts to make a fun game with all our minds. Well, this is a really great step in the future, and I'm very excited what the future holds for Dragon Village Collection. Um, if you've been following me since the beginning with my adventure on this game, I've been really loving the game. Um, I still love it to this day. Obviously, I had some ups and downs with the game, um, but especially with the deep sea content, I just um, am completely addicted to the game. And then more update games. Um, so yeah, this actually looks really good, um, especially with the monthly egg being um, obtainable free to play, which is actually very nice. So free to play players can also get an own first generation for themselves. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the first anniversary and the upcoming updates, etc. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Hit the notification button to be notified whenever a new video goes live. In the description down below, a link to download the game as well as a link to the official Dragon Village Collection Discord and a, di a link to my own Discord if you like to join. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.